Hi guys, I'm here with the new mini album that I just finished completing. Um, I thought I'd share it with you. So for this album, I use, I use the Die Cuts with a View Primrose Paper Stack. And I also used a really cute tutorial um, called Make a Mini Album from Paper Crafter 45. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the cover. So on the cover here, I used um, the one sheet with the butterflies on it that said Memories. I thought that would be really um, cute to have on the front cover. Um, I also uh, used the, I cut out the butterflies from um, the sheet that's on the paper stack, the front cover of the paper stack, and I layered them on top of um, the butterflies that were underneath, and I thought that would give it a nice three-dimensional look. Um, I added that little butterfly there. Um, all of these uh, cut, up, cut aparts came actually from the paper stack and um, all I really added to it was the twine, um, the little flower that I had in my stash, and some feathers that I found, um, as well as the uh, flat back pearls. Those were basically the only, oh and, and the little charm right here, those were the only items that I used that didn't belong with the paper stack. So on the spine, I just left it plain. Um, it's really chunky and um, I didn't want to add too much to the spine. I like when it lays flat. And then on the back here, I just left it plain as well. So let's go ahead and look inside. So on the inside front cover, um, all I added was uh, this cute little tag that um, was a cut apart from the paper and I backed it onto some craft cardstock and just left it open um, along the sides here so you can tuck in a photo or um, a journaling tag or whatever you'd like. Um, I like this little spot as well. You can add a date or um, a name. It's a really nice place to add um, some personal touches. Um, so um, Paper Crafter 45, uh, the Make a Mini Album uh, tutorial was really great. It's um, it's put together uh, multiple pages uh, that fit into um, one binding spot. Uh, so it, it, it really um, came together really well. She has tons of add-ons that you can add to totally customize your, um, your mini album as well, which was really nice. Uh, so, you know, whoever makes uh, a mini album using the same tutorial Every, you could do it so many different ways that it would look totally different every time, which was really great. Um, and it was really easy to put together and the tutorials were fabulous. So I will link below to Paper Crafter 45 and to her tutorials for the Make a Mini album. So here is a, the first section. Um, the, this page here, I cut this out of the paper, put some... Um, I don't know if you can see that, some stickle, or not stickles, uh, some glossy accents on the butterfly just to add some dimension. This right here was a cut apart and I just backed it on some craft card stock and I'm using it as a photo mat. So um, a nice little picture can fit on the back there. You can also fit a nice photo right here. So that just slides in like that. On the inside of this unit, it also has a flap. Uh, for this flap right here, there was another cut apart in the paper stack um, that had kind of a frame and what I did was I, I fussy cut it out, um, put some glossy accents in some places and what I did was I cut along the, the frame right along here, here, here and here and I cut a, a little um, tag that you can stick in here so it just fits nicely in there. So you can put some journaling on here or maybe add multiple pictures just to change up that little frame. Um, also add a picture here or some journaling about the pictures on this card. So that just tucks into there. I used the border edge by Fiskars. Don't quite know which one which one it's called but um, that w uh, it was a Fiskars border punch that I used. So that flap opens up and in here I have another space for a photo right here. Uh, this was fussy cut out of the paper pad 
and I left it open in case you want to tuck um, a little journaling card or a small photo um, just room to tuck something in there this right here I created a pocket with a tag and I thought um, that would be a great place to hide a photo or um, some journaling has a nice date stamp up there that you can add to it that just hides right back in here really nicely so the middle part of this um, uh, make a mini album has a pocket and I created a larger photo mat you can add a nice large photo there or a nice collage down here I have another um, fussy cutout uh, flower that I used and I left it open to slide in one of the cut aparts and that's great um, a nice spot for journaling and then you can add a photo to the back or a photo right here so that just tucks in there and then on the next page here I cut this out of the paper pad as well and I thought that would be a nice little belly band I added some um, brads here this is another little cutout um, from the paper pad and I used it as a stopper and I put a, uh, a smaller photo mat here that you can add a picture to and then on the back side of this um, one page is um, another side pocket and it has a large photo mat that you can tuck into here and there's um, enough space here to put a, a, a nice size photo so that's one unit that attaches to a um, the binding. So on the next page unit here, I have um, I created a pocket out of the paper, and I uh, cut this out of the uh, cut aparts. And I thought that'd be a great place for some journaling, a year, someone's name, or even the title of um, a series of pictures or whatever you'd like. Um, I created a little photo mat here. And of course there's room there for a photo as well. And that just tucks right in there. So this flips open and I really love this um, page with the bird. Um, I added some glossy accents to him just to uh, make him stand out a little bit more. And I thought that'd be a great place to put um, a date or a name. And um, to add a little photo here, I thought I'd add a pocket with a little tag and you can put a photo or some journaling on the back here and here I just added my own um, I just kinda made uh, two little pockets that I thought would be really cute to add right here so you can put some small photos on on the front of these and on the back um, they just flip in and out like that and they also have a little tag that's on the inside like that so you can add some photos there I'll just put these aside for now and those flip over and you can add some photos to the back here and this page I left blank um, just so you have an opportunity to put a large photo I like how the um, the ruler broke it up or the measuring tape broke it up with the polka dots on the bottom so you can put a large photo here maybe some journaling down here so that is the next section um, and we're back to um, all the back parts of this um, page section it has the side pocket and it all ha has uh, they each have a large mat that will fit in here and to keep the the theme continuous with um, the little bird um, I cut out the cut apart with the bird on it I put some more glossy accents on him uh, left this open so you can slide something back here and um, nice spot for some journaling so the next um, unit page unit um, I I really love this paper it, it has a border around it and I thought it just makes it uh, a nice spot to put pictures I put some glossy accents on those um, the leaves to give it some more dimension um, I did add a little belly band and I thought maybe that'd be a cute place to tuck a photo behind or a um, little journaling to go with a photo. So that page flips, flips over and it's the same kind of continuous paper. The glossy accents on the green leaves 
um, a nice spot for a photo right here with some uh, lines for some journaling. So that flap opens up and what I did with this was um, I kind of cut along the border here uh, just to um, have the spot that I can add um, a tag or a little photo mat. So that can just go, tucks right back in here and there's lots of room for another photo or some journaling on here. And um, I also used the glossy accents on here uh, to just add some more um, strength to the paper so that when you're pulling the tag in and out, um, less chance of it ripping. So the middle portion right here is another pocket and of course I added a large photo mat there. So that'll hold uh, two good sized pictures. And on here, this was one of the cut aparts and I thought it'd be a nice opportunity to add some journaling about your photos. And I left it open on the side so you can um, tuck something behind there as well if you wanted to. Just like that. And this page here mirrors um, the, the fold out page here with the glossy accents on the uh, leaves and it's cut along the border and provides a nice space for um, another photo on a mat here and some journaling back there or even another photo if you'd like. And that just tucks back there. And on the back of this unit is the side pocket and it does have a large photo mat here and it's got some a nice space for a couple small photos over here. So the next photo um, or the next section I created a pocket on the outside and added another photo mat so plenty of room for photos in this one and that just tucks in there. This one over here um, I cut a slit in the paper and um, I added this postcard that was a, um, a cut apart and I added it to some cardstock and I thought that would make, you can put a great, uh, a nice size photo there, make it look like a real postcard, do some journaling on the back and it slides right into the pocket. This right here I added as um, a cute little spot to put a date or um, name or title for the pictures in this um, section. Some glossy accents on the butterfly to make it stand out. Um, here I use this cut apart as um, a belly band and that would be, it, it provides a really great spot for some journaling. And I added a photo mat so you can add your photos there. And on the back side of this section is that same side pocket with the large photo mat. This right here, um, I really like this paper. Uh, I love the blues and the yellows together and the golds. And I, I just really liked um, the banner here and I thought that'd be a nice place to um, put some journaling. Uh, and there's also room for a photo up here. So this opens up and using the same paper with the flowers, um, I used these two cut aparts and this one I left open and it has a, a, a little spot for some journaling and this right here I backed onto cardstock and I thought that would make a nice um, series of pictures or a nice landscape size picture that can fit right in here or even just a journaling tag. That flips out like that and we have another little cut apart with a butterfly that I added some glossy accents to. Um, I created a belly band out of it and I took this cut apart and I fussy cut out the flowers around the edges and backed it onto cardstock and I thought that would be really cute for some journaling and to add some pictures to the back. And that just fits back in here. On this middle page I used um, the side pocket and I added another large photo mat that can just tuck back in here. This side here, um, I really, really love this postcard. Um, love the blue flowers, uh, love the sparkles and the, the glitter and everything about it. And I thought it would make an, a really nice um, just kind of presentation for a waterfall feature. So I added um, the waterfall feature here. 
So you have lots of room for photos. I added the strips of the paper just to add um, extra room for journaling. And of course you can fit a larger picture right down there. Uh, and that brings you to the end of that section. And there's room right here for, for a nice size photo with of course another larger photo mat. Put right in there. And this is the last section here. Um, what I did was the same thing as the other pages. I just kind of cut out along the flowers and made a side pocket to hold a photo mat here. And um, I really like this lined paper. It's such a great opportunity to add some um, journaling to your photos or you can even add um, a smaller photo for the background here. And on this page here, um, what I did was I used some of the extra cut aparts and I layered them together and um, added some pop dots just to give it some dimension and to create a larger belly band. And it holds um, a cute little postcard back here where you can add a nice photo and do some journaling. So um, good use of the cut aparts. Uh, they have lots of spots for journaling which is nice. Um, just gives you extra lines to make sure your journaling, uh, your writing is straight and it looks great. And I really like the opportunities it gave with um, cut aparts to get creative. So on this page here, I cut apart some of the flowers and the butterflies and I um, added some glossy accents to the butterfly. This right here is like a little chalkboard. I thought it was really, really cute and I wanted to um, get the most out of it so I added it to some cardstock. So I thought this would make a great journaling spot. You can use some white, um, a white gel pen um, to make it look like chalk. Um, write something on the front and then add a little photo to the back. And that just slides back in here. And then on that back side of that section is another uh, pocket side pocket so you have the large photo mat again um, nice spot for some journaling and of course there's room for pictures on this here and this takes you to the uh, inside back cover and I used one of the cut aparts with memories added some uh, glossy accents backed it on some cardstock and also have a little pocket that I created here and you can tuck in um, additional photos, um, add some journaling or whatever you'd like to it. And that's the end of my mini album. So um, I had a lot of fun making this one. I will have it for sale in my um, Etsy shop and um, I will link below to um, Paper Crafter 45's Make a Mini Album uh, tutorial series. Great tutorial, loved it, we will probably use it again in the future. Um, and it's, it has so much versatility to it that you can make uh, more than one and it will definitely uh, look different every day later. Thanks for watching.